Hello everyone, I'm Gung Ho Hunter and we're zooming back at you with Teppan headline number 20. 20 whole headlines already, huh? What a number. This wouldn't have been possible without all of your support, so to everyone who's played Teppan thus far, thank you. But of course, we're not here today just to say thanks. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce Teppan's latest card pack coming this November. Elegantly infiltrating Teppan is our next card pack, the Beautiful Eight. Eight Capcom Femme Fatales of all ages and sizes form the ultimate team in order to infiltrate an underground auction and retrieve the stolen kinship stone. Which is quite a premise, but how did we get here? The tale begins when the kinship stone is stolen from a certain village. Enna, a resident of the village in question, then seeks the help of a unique class of professionals to get it back. Those professionals are none other than the Beautiful Eight, a group composed of women of legendary skill. This group accepted Enna's request and cleverly made their way into the dark auction where the kinship stone is being held. Of course, it's not as simple as just walking in and reclaiming the stone. They need a distraction. To that end, they turn two auction participants against each other in a vicious bidding war. While having their stealthy agents maneuver behind the scenes to steal back the stone. Well, maybe some of them are stealthier than others. It all culminates in a thrilling car escape. Will they be able to steal back the kinship stone and return it to their client, Enna, in one piece? With that brief intro into the world of the card pack, it's time to get into the meat of the headline. The new cards. First, we'll be looking at the red and green cards coming in the new pack. Let's get this party started. Beautiful 8 Mia. Eagle-eyed viewers may have been wondering why only 7 members of Beautiful 8 were featured in the card pack visual shown earlier. This is because the 8th member, Mia, is just a little bit smaller compared to the rest of our heroines. But if you squint your eyes, you can see her as a yellow light above Grimmelkind's head in the visual, just like she's pictured here. Her card effects are as follows. This card has Veil. When played, give all other friendly units plus one attack. While on the field, give all other friendly units attacking. Deal two damage to the unit in front. Coordination 1. Gain reduced damage taken of 5 or more to 1. Next, we have Easy Piece of Pizza. Who's better suited to slipping through the classic security lasers than the petite and agile Mia? Although, given her size, pushing the button itself is a struggle. This card gives all friendly units plus 1 attack, effective for 1 attack, and deals 5 damage to all units with 3 or less attack. Arietta. It was teased earlier, but this card pack marks the debut of the Cyberbots Full Metal Madness series in Teppan. One representative from the series is Arietta, who seems to be caught in a rather unfortunate situation. When a friendly red unit with coordination is placed on the field, give that unit plus 3 HP. When a friendly unit with coordination dies, give one random red unit card with an MP cost of 2 or more in your hand or EX pocket. Minus 1 MP. Coordination 1. Game Veil. Cha-Cha. I know what you're thinking. How can this be a real adventure without Cha-Cha? Worry not. He's here somehow, determined to make the auction's treasure his own. This card has attacking. Deal 2 damage to the unit in front. Coordination 2. Gain Agility. Beautiful 8. The Princess. Back from a bit of a tepid break, and looking as regal as ever, it's the princess. This card has shield, and growth 5. Upon reaching level 2, this card gives all friendly units plus 3 HP, then returns all enemy units attack to their original values. 
At level 3, give all friendly units death, gain plus 1 MP. At level 4, give one other random friendly unit plus 7 plus 7. Chaotic Shuttle Service When you need a good getaway driver, Nico's your woman. When you need a safe driver, maybe not. Give all friendly units with growth, death. Place this unit in the same board slot. If that slot is occupied, the unit will not be placed. Deal damage to your hero equal to the total MP of all friendly units with growth. Grand Meow This veteran member of the team has Herculean strength belied by her small stature, shown by her carrying luggage many times her own size. You would think her feline buddies would help her out a bit. When a friendly unit levels up, gain plus one plus one. Coordination one. Gain attacking. Give one random friendly green unit with growth plus three HP. El Fuerte. He wrestles, he cooks, he bids. Is there anything this masked luchador can't do? This card has shield and growth three. At level two, gain plus one plus three. At level three, Gain while on the field, give all other friendly units damage taken minus one. That wraps it up for our red and green cards. Next, let's look at some upcoming campaigns and events coming alongside the new expansion. First, a new limited time adventure mode makes its way into Tepin. Relive Feline and Nero's thrilling journeys from the adventures of a tiny hero expansion in this event, the ultimate goal of which is to retrieve the golden shell. This event will also feature new story images in the library, so don't miss it. Next up, two new BGM join Teppin alongside some returning favorites. With the advent of cyberbots in Teppin, a song from the game Power Station has become available. Trisha's theme from Devil May Cry will also be added to the Soul Shop, so check them out for some new tunes to battle and build to. But wait, there's more! We'll also have some special deals at the Soul Shop. Church's Legendary Secret card will be half off for a limited time only, alongside a discount on Secret Spheres. Check them out if you're interested. Next, we have information on upcoming special card packs and jewel sets. First up, we have Special Card Pack 25. The card pack will be a chance to obtain legendary cards alongside several skins and EX skins, including Sengoku Machine Armor and Nina, so please check it out when it releases mid-November. The following jewel sets and extras will also be available to celebrate the release of the new card pack. Please refer to the periods listed to know when each will be available. As always, all of this info and more can be found on our website. For further details and updates, please check the official website, SNS accounts, and in-game announcements at a later date. But it's time to get the show back on the road. Introducing new purple and black cards. Beautiful 8 Trish. Trish is back, this time as a member of the glamorous Beautiful 8. When played, return the unit in front to the EX pocket, then give this unit minus one attack equal to the returned unit's MP cost. Coordination 2. Gain combo. Rogue Trader Santana. Another representative from the Cyberbot series, Santana is one of the smoothest out there. Once he decides he wants something, he'll let no one stand in his way. This card has Rush, and, whenever lock is removed, Return all enemy units with an MP cost of 5 or less to the EX pocket, up to one time. After dealing damage to the enemy hero, gain plus 1, plus 1, then randomly lock one of your opponent's empty board slots for 5 seconds. This card has Unleash, 15, and gains Veil, then explores for Bioweapon Capsule, and gives it minus 1 MP. Battle Before the Battle Say this one 10 times fast. For some auction participants, the real battle starts long before the auction itself. Give one random unit card in your hand or EX pocket plus three plus three and heavy pierce. While in your hand or EX pocket, whenever lock is removed, give this card minus two MP. The Anticipated Battle An unlikely duo clashes in a bidding war, but it seems a little bit more personal than just wanting the same item. Return one enemy unit with an MP cost of five or less to the EX pocket, then lock that slot for five seconds. If there are two or more units with coordination in your hand or EX pocket, gain plus one MP. Demon Princess Devilot. Yet another Cyberbots representative, it's the Pirate Princess herself. 
As usual, she's determined to snatch up things other people want, and that's just what her card does in-game as well. This card has Veil, and also has Decimate. Steal one random unit card with an MP cost of 4 or less from your opponent's deck and add it to your EX pocket, then give that card minus 2 MP. Coordination 1. Gain plus 1 attack and battle damage taken by this unit becomes 1. Madcap Chase. No heist would be complete without a thrilling getaway scene. The giant robot chasing the gang looks like trouble, but it seems like Trish has a plan in mind. Destroy one random enemy unit and one random friendly unit. Deal two damage to the enemy hero and your hero. Send one random card from both your opponent's EX pocket and your EX pocket to the graveyard. Juju Dorma. The Underworld auction brings many types, and the Genma Juju Dorma found herself enraptured with a red orb. It's kinda cute in a way. When played, sacrifice four life. Upon death, give one random enemy unit minus six HP. Coordination two, and gain combo. Poison. Poison has come all the way out to the underground auction to sell a car? When a friendly unit with coordination dies, give one random enemy unit minus two HP, then deal two damage to the enemy hero. And that was a sneak peek at the new cards coming with the beautiful eight. I think I'm feeling a little dizzy after all the glitz and glamour but things are only going to get more fabulous when the card pack releases. The official website will be updated with more information after this video, and card reveals for the Beautiful 8 will also be shared via our official SNS at PlayTeppin, so be sure to check it out. As always, the addition of new cards also means changes to the set of cards currently in play in Standard. After the update, previously released card packs will become unusable. This includes all packs released up through Operation Cannon Spike. Finally, the release date. Look forward to the release of The Beautiful 8 on Wednesday, November 1st. And stay tuned for further updates regarding supplemental cards of The Beautiful 8 coming this December 2023. Thanks for sticking around everyone! As you might have expected, we'd like to share one last gift with you of two new pack tickets. Scan the QR code to earn a pair of tickets before November 1st at 7.59am PDT. After maintenance on November 1st, they'll automatically become The Beautiful 8 card pack tickets. That's all for today's headline. I hope you're all excited to sneak into the holidays with the new card pack, and I look forward to seeing you all next time.